And here we are with another video documenting my gaming collection. Now in this video I'll be going over my copies of the Dead or Alive games. Now before I start, yes, I don't have all of them, but there are the, these are the ones that I have, so these are the ones you'll be seeing today. Anyway, let's start with my copy of DOA 5 Collector's Edition for the PS3. Now this game comes in a steel tin case with a cardboard sleeve, as you can see here. Right, so there's a case there uh, for the PS3, the Collector's Edition. Uh, on the back uh, shows you what's in, what's included in this uh, in this pack. So premium boss seal case packaging, Dead or Alive 5 game, uh, exclusive hardcore hardcover art book, uh, premium swimsuit costumes, um, just for the female characters because of course, and official game soundtrack CD, and also the Dead or Alive poster. So let's open up and see the contents. All right, so there it is. There's the nice uh, tin, steel tin case. The five is embossed. The water droplets, are not so much. The back of it just looks like you know, it's a, it's a plain. It's, it's a, nothing's embossed on the back, and yeah, uh, steel tin case. Right, so let's open it up. Boom, and the first thing you see is the art book. So here it is. Right, it's a nice hardcover art art book. Um, I'm a fighter. There we go. It's uh, nice and shiny. As you, there it is. You can see that. Right, and essentially it's uh, just a standard bogged down art book featuring uh, the characters. Uh, oh, you've got a table of contents there, as you can see. Uh, starting with the gallery. Right, oh. There we are. And uh, as you can see, there's also a little um, forward from the from the staff as well of each fighter. Right now, I'm not going to go over um, the whole book. Sarah. Busa, Jan Lee, Bayman, Zach, good old Zach, Bass, uh, Hayari, ah, oh, you know what, I might as well go over the book, the whole book. Elliot, Rig, Akira's there, these all different costumes. These are all different stages. And that's it. And I believe that is a picture of Hitomi, if I'm not mistaken. All right, right. Next up is the poster, the DOA 5, the Dead or Alive 5 poster. So let's open it up now. This probably won't fit in the frame, but I'll try to show you as much as I can. There we are. Uh, and there we go. All right, so that's everyone in the game. Hopefully you can see that. There it is. All right, very nice indeed. Okay. It's also, just to point out, it's also got the, um, obviously, the guest characters as well. So you've got uh, Akira Yuki there, and where's Sarah? Um, I can't see her anywhere. Oh, maybe not. Just, just Akira. Anyway, right. There's the poster. And finally, we've got, not finally, but we've got the game here, right, which contains the Blu-ray disc and the booklet, of course. Uh, there it is, there's the back of it, if we open it up, there's the Blu-ray disc, um, this one, there's the booklet, and there is the downloadable swimsuit voucher uh, for the game. Now, the, like I said before, the disc DLC code uh, to get the premium swimsuit costume, this is only for the full cast of playable female characters in the game, because of course. Right, so. The booklet itself, um, fairly standard. Oops, just the front page. We've got a table of contents, uh, setting up, obviously. Uh, there's the controls, the triangle system, uh, the game screen getting started, the credits, uh, a couple of artwork there, and another, um, not sure what language this is, uh, but there's another one right there. Okay. And finally now, 
we've got the official game soundtrack CD with um, with the list right there on the back. Hopefully you can see that. There we go. Oh, there's the CD there. Uh, also to note, um, you'll see here that the the place where the case sits in, uh, there's a gap at the top. Now, for whatever reason, they didn't make another mold for the PS3, um, like a separate mold. This mold can also be used if you have a uh, an Xbox 360 game uh, of the same game. So uh, an Xbox 360 case will also fit in this um, plastic uh, mold here, right? Just a note. Anyway, that is my copy of Dead or Alive 5 Collector's Edition for the PS3. Uh, that's presented in a steel case. Steelton case. All right, so let's put that over there. Okay. Now, next up in the DOA 5 family is DOA, or should I say, Dead or Alive 5 Ultimate. Now, this version introduced several new game modes and new characters. All right, so there it is. There's a the game there. And there we are. All right, you've got new fighters. Um, you've got Leah, Rachel, Ayn, uh, Momiji, and Jackie. Um, and you've also got Kira, Sarah, Pai, Jackie from uh, Virtua Fighter. Right, so there we are. There's the Blu-ray disc. And if we take that out, right, there's the um, uh, booklet, standard again, similar booklet to the first one, to the OA5, getting started, main menu, uh, and all that. There it is. Okay. <clears throat> and that's the OA5 Ultimate. All right. Finally, the last of the De Dead or Alive 5 family is Dead or Alive 5 Last Round. Now, this was the final updated version of Dead or Alive 5 following Dead or Alive 5 and Dead or Alive 5 Ultimate, this one here. Okay, this game brought Mai Shiranui as a playable character. Uh, now, if you're a fan of the King of Fighters series or Fatal Fury series, you'll know who I'm talking about. Okay, I digress. In this copy, now, because I pre-ordered this, I also get a Ninja and Beach Party Pack DLC, which is basically extra costumes for, uh, I believe it's for Momiji, Leifang, Rachel, Kokoro, Kasumi, Hayate, Ryu, and Ayami. Uh, now, there it is, right? There's an inside, now I'll show you uh, what I mean by, there's the code there. So this is the piece of paper that tells you the DLC code, which is, I've already redeemed it, but I'm still gonna blur it anyway, there it is, right? So, so it's on a piece of paper. Uh, now, like I said before, the booklet is a little sparse. I mean, it's just, you know, just that. Game controls. Uh, and just the game controls in different languages. And that's it. Right? So, um, I, I think it's in... What is that? Let me check that again. So, that's in English. That sounds like Swedish. And this one is Finnish. Yeah, Finnish. There we are. Okay, so that is Dead or Alive 5, last round. Now, next up is Dead or Alive 6 for the PS4, which I believe is the last Dead or Alive game in the franchise. Uh, I haven't seen uh, another one as of yet. I haven't seen number 7. Uh, no news either. Okay, so this game comes in a steel case uh, with a cardboard sleeve, as you can see there. Right. Um, it tells you, uh, you know, the new features and whatnot uh, on the back, and the steel, steel case essentially shows you uh, Hayate, and who is this? And Ryu on the back? Oh, sorry, yeah, that's Hayate. No, that's Ryu. That's Hayate. I'm oh, sorry. Right. If we open it up. Um, all you get is a warranty flyer um, and the Blu-ray disc. Right, so there's not really uh, much in here uh, at all. Okay, so that is Dead or Alive 6 for the PS4. Now, as a bonus uh, in the Dead or Alive um, you know, universe, I will show you two games from the Extreme series. Dead or Alive Extreme 2 and Dead or Alive Extreme 3 Fortune. So this Dead or Alive Extreme 2, as you know, this did not come out in PS3, in PlayStation, at all, right? It only came out in Xbox 360, so there it is, okay? The odd one out. There's the back of it, there's the front, right? So, uh, obviously, this is for Xbox 360. Now, yeah, I need to clean this up a little bit. Um, the, the sticker 
the residue is still there, so I'll, I'll get I'll get around to cleaning that as well. Uh, but you know, overall, the you know, case is in pretty good condition, as I would say. So if we open up, we get the um, uh, disc there, uh, right there, the um, Dead or Alive disc, Xbox 360, which is still in really good condition. I'd say it's near perfect. And here is the booklet. We get a nice booklet, which I which I love. Um, going through the booklet, uh, there we are, table of contents, and so it's really good because it's got all the um, uh, bio for all the um, uh, girls, uh, female characters in the game. All right, and finally you've got Zach and Nikki at the end, and you've got starting the game, and it tells you um, a little bit, you know, uh, of what what to expect from the game and what what can you do, you know, in terms of um, you know items, sunburns, relationships, and there, there's the controls right there, uh, act, all the different activities and and what you can buy, etc. Right, there it is. Okay, so that is. Extreme Dead or Alive Extreme 2. Okay, and finally we have Extreme 3, Dead or Alive Extreme 3 Fortune for the PS4. Now, as far as I know, this game is not released officially in the West. You have to buy this uh, this game from Asia, meaning import it either from Japan or eBay or Play Asia or Amazon, etc. Uh, now, here's also another tip if you haven't already figured it out if you get this game from Japan, the whole game is in Japanese. Okay, if you can understand Japanese, great, go for gold. If not, and if you can't understand Japanese, then you have to get the Asian version, which includes English subtitle, and that is the version that I have here. So I'm gonna quickly zoom in here a little bit so you can see, there it is, right? Language, the voice is in Japanese, but everything else is in English. So that's what you get um, if you buy the Asian version, which is what I have uh, now, okay? so. Uh, inside of it, uh, again, there's a Blu-ray disc, uh, the Koi Tecmo um, holographic sticker there, and you only get two things. Uh, the, in terms of flyers, uh, you've got the Marie's Devil Swimsuit download code, which is right there, uh, download code at the back, and you also get this uh, little flyer, which is supposed to be a booklet um, that gives you all the basic controls, and that's it. That is pretty much it. Okay, uh, but. There we have it, folks. Um, that's it. That's my collection of the Dead or Alive games. Um, as always, thank you for watching. You know, like and subscribe when you have a moment. There will be more videos coming. Be on the lookout. And until next time, see you later.